don't touch the TV remote. This isn't the Buddhist channel. This week, I decided to welcome the fall season by participating in a temple stay. I've always wanted to try the temple stay program, but I just couldn't bring myself to hike up the steep mountain. That's when I found a way to enjoy temple stay right in the heart of the city. But is this really a Buddhist temple? The ornaments give off a Buddhist vibe. Let me ask her, is this really a Buddhist temple? One of my Son Mudo teachers told me about this place. I, I was looking for a place in Seoul and she said, uh, go there, it's, it's like a, it's a temple within the city. I said, why not? It will probably uh, be very nice. So uh, I came and I'm very happy I came. <laughs> yeah. Okay then, I'll spend the night here. The rooms for female guests are located on the second floor. The bunk bed had subtle lights, and the bedding was neatly arranged. Plus, there were books to read. As this temple pays importance to exchanges, I hurried down to the first floor lobby for a special program. It's Chadam time, a session where the guests enjoy some tea brewed by the Buddhist monks as they converse together. <laughs> I soon became one with this place as I conversed in a relaxed atmosphere with the monks and other guests. So, how was it, David? Oh, you kind of feel like you're at a friend's house. Because everybody's kind of here with like minds where we all want to just take time to slow down a little bit, just be here in the moment together. And yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just, just being here is nice. Oops, sorry. I couldn't help myself as I'm starving. Luckily, all the guests as well as myself were invited to the staff meal. Mealtimes are announced by hitting the moktak, which is a hollow wooden percussion instrument. I couldn't wait to see what's on the menu. It is... Bibimbap! There was a wide assortment of vegetables, as well as crispy gamjajeon and some sweet melon. <laughs> The dishes are made with ingredients which are given as offerings to Buddha. The names of people who sent the offerings are written on the board and the food is enjoyed with gratitude. I noticed two impressive things as I ate. First, it's the way the Buddhist monks eat. Once they finished eating, they poured some water into the bowl they used, rinsed everything, and drank the water to clean the bowl. Okay, usually in traditional temples, uh, we don't leave any food. So we could save the water and appreciation for the food. Secondly, the foreign guests really enjoyed the Korean temple food. Food, yeah, I really like this food. A little bit spicy, but it's fine. You mix with many vegetables, and it's good and healthy. Uh. I totally agree. I really enjoyed my meal. I'm full now. 
So why don't we go up to the fifth floor where the Zen Hall is located? We can let our smartphones rest in their own meditation hall drawer. What a witty way of saying no smartphones. The clear sound from the singing bowl announces the commencement of the service. Once the service ends, it's time for the bell of Temple State, the bows. Normally, people do 108 bows, but they decided to do 300 bows. Once they complete the bows in their respective speed, they are enlightened and filled with good intentions, something those who haven't done this meditative practice would never know. 300 배가 당연히 더 힘든 것 같아요. 108배보다. 근데 300배가 또 그만큼 새롭게 정리하는 느낌을 더 많이 준다고 생각을 해요. Temple Stay makes you look back on yourself. That's probably why many young people participate in Temple Stay programs. If you need to take a break from your jam-packed schedule, how about trying out this temple stay? <laughs>